Hi, guys. I thought the recording was on. So we're, today we're going to talk about what you can do this week and then through November 1st to get your business off to a really fantastic start, okay? Some of these things you may have heard before, but hopefully, um, if you haven't, this will give you a really great, solid understanding of how to run your business and be successful with unique. So we're just going to get going right now. Um, so getting off to a fast start. I really want to encourage you to start off your business with a bang, okay? Get a running start. Launch with a, you know, make it a huge launch for you. Those that get off to a fast start and get their business running off the ground do better in this business because momentum has a lot to do with the business. And so if you get off to a fast start, you create that momentum, and then your business grows exponentially. Um, if you get off to a slow start, it doesn't get off that momentum, and it doesn't take that exponential growth. So fast start. Let's get you going. And tonight we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about um, the why and the how with the business, a little bit of review on compensation to make sure you understand that, Um, parties and events, different ways you can run your business, team building tips, and then choosing the pace to to build your business. So I love this quote. This is from actually a leader on our team. If you have a why, you can defeat any how. So one thing I want you to do, if you haven't done this already, is to figure out why you want to do this business. What do you want to get out of this business? This is really, really important to you. And it sound, it may sound kind of silly, you know, why do I need to know why I want to do the business? But you'll have moments, everybody does, where you get frustrated or maybe it's not growing as fast as you want to or maybe there's a setback, right? Everyone, everyone has that in the business. Okay, there's a lot of really fun and fast and exciting things, but there's always little hiccups and things that you just need to be prepared for. And if you know why you're doing the business, then the how figures out itself. You don't need to necessarily know exactly everything about parties and da 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 because you'll figure it out. You'll make it happen. Those that have that really big motivation, you're going to figure out a way to make it happen. If I don't have the sales that I need for the end of the month, Sometimes I don't know, always know how I'm going to get those sales, but you can bet I'm going to meet my goal, then I'm going to get it, and I'm going to make it happen because I have a really, really strong why. I know why I want to do this business. I know um, that it can happen. I know the rewards of the business. So think about why you want to do this business. Is it just to bring in, you know, a couple hundred a month? That's awesome. Is it to supplement income? Is it to replace income? Is it to be able to retire your husband? Is it to be able to send your kids to a private school? Is that why it's big enough that when you talk about it to someone, that you start getting emotional about it and you know, your eyes start to water a little bit? If so, that is going to be a huge driving force for you. Again, your why doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Maybe you just want to buy your purse to get a manicure. But if your why makes you cry, you can bet that you'll, you'll be in it for the long run. You'll be sticking with it, okay? And I want you also to to not give yourself an out, okay? I want you to do yourself a favor and get rid of any thoughts of, you know, I'm just going to try it out for a few months and see how it goes. Now, I heard about this new thing called Unique. You know, I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll just kind of try it and see if it does anything. Um, Yeah, I'm going to give it six months. If it doesn't, you know, count out to what I think, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go ahead and quit. Please don't don't do that because you you just made it, you set yourself up for failure, you made it so there's no way you're going to succeed because you just told yourself, hey, it's okay. I don't have to put in the full effort because if it doesn't work out, oh well. When I joined the business, and again, everyone has a different reason. So if, if you want to do this for fun and part-time, you may not have the same reasons as me, and that's totally okay. We don't have to have the exact same reasons. That's fine. But for me and this business, when I joined, I put all my eggs in one basket. It was in 110%. I decided, hey, you know what? The next three months, I'm going to work crazy hard. I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to spend as much time as I can in this business around my other you know, obligations and schedules, and just, let's see what happens with it. Let's see where it can take me. And the rewards from that have been truly amazing. Okay, so let's do a quick compensation overview. I just want to make sure everyone understands compensation, at least the first part, and what, what you want to aim for and the goals you want to have. So, the very first rank in unique is a yellow status presenter. So right now, every one of you are already a white status presenter. You do not have to sell to be a white status presenter. So there's a little bit of confusion about that sometimes. You'll hear people say, congratulations on, you know, hitting white or qualifying. That's not a real thing. 
everyone's already a white level presenter, okay? So you get paid on everything you sell already from the very beginning. So yay for that. Um, once you sell a thousand dollars or a thousand royalty points, I put the dollar sign here, but it's the exact same. Thousand royalty points, a thousand dollars, either way, whichever makes it easier for you to think about it. And um, it's the same amount of product, okay? So once you sell a thousand dollars, you bump up to a yellow status presenter and your commission goes from 20% to 25% commission. That is a one time thing. You only have to do it one time. And my goal for everyone in the UK is that you just smash that out in November. You get yellow out of the ballpark. That should be one of your main goals, okay? The next ranks are all based on monthly activity. So it starts at the beginning of the month, and at the end of the month, if you hit those qualifications for that rank, then you get paid at that rank, which is really exciting. Also, all of the other ranks are when you get paid off your team. So at the yellow status, you only make income off of your own commission, what you are personally selling. But anything above yellow, pink, and above, you get paid off your team. So that's another huge incentive to promote to pink, so you can start getting paid off of the people that you've run to the business. So um, pink qualifications, blue and green, they just have separate qualifications. There's a monthly um, sales, personal retail sales is what the PR stands for, that you need to do in a month. Then there is your team company sales. So for example, pink, you need to sell $250 yourself. You need to have $2,000 in company wholesale, and you need to have one qualified presenter. So let's just talk about those terms just so you guys all know what those are. 2000 is company sales. That is wholesale. Wholesale is always 75%. So they just basically take off your 25% commission, and then they pay you on the 75% that's left. Um, and then one qualified presenter. Qualified means you have someone you've personally sponsored, so it has to be direct to you, that has sold at least 125 royalty points that month. That's about five sets of lashes, so it's a really low amount. Um, you do those two things and you hit pink. Um, blue, it's just a little bit higher company, a second qualified person, and then green, let's talk about green, because that is the sweet spot in our company and our compensation plans. If you want to make some great money, green is what you want to aim for. If you want to be a leader, green is what you want to aim for. If you want to earn incentive trips, green is what you want to aim for. So green is $500 that you're personally selling, $10,000 is in company volume, and then um, three qualified presenters, okay? The main thing is the company volume, though. The other things seem to fall into place. Um, and then once you get past green, really, you're just going to help those under you promote to green. So once you hit green, your focus turns to those on your team and identifying those leaders that are growing and those that can hit green and helping them to do the same. And then our top status, which is our black status, you need four green level presenters um, that are in separate legs. So what that means, if you think of a table, um, they're not all in one line, right? So a table has four separate legs on it, okay? So that means, like, you would sponsor four separate people and they would all hit green. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the person you've directly sponsored. So you may sponsor someone and they may sponsor someone and they may sponsor someone and that may be the person that hits green. So it does not have to be direct to you, but they have to be in separate legs, or four separate legs to hit black status. And then um, the other qualification is $80,000 in company volume, your own $500 in sales, and then 8000 or 10000 in circle volume. So like I said, the leaders are the thing that you really want to work on with black. The other, other qualifications kind of seem to fall into place. And as you get close to that, we'll definitely be talking about and making sure you're hitting those. Okay, I love, love, love this. Massive action equals massive results. This is really, really true, okay? Sometimes people think, well, if I just do a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, you know, by the time we get to the end of the year, it's really going to add up. We wish, and on paper, it looks really pretty and nice. You know, if I sponsor two, and they sponsor two, and they sponsor two, so every month everyone's sponsoring two, by the end of the year, we're going to have this huge team, right? Everyone's sponsoring two, and... But what happens is people don't always do that. <laughs> so you need to do more. Massive action equals massive results. Again, when I joined, I said, hey, I'm going to put in 110%. I put in that massive action at the beginning, and the results have been phenomenal. Um, other leaders have grown even faster than me and have put in even more. So think big, believe big, act big, and the results will be big. Okay? The more people you talk with, the more results you're going to get. And it grows exponentially, which is amazing. So instead of talking to, you know, one person a day about your business, try talking to three to five people a day. 
and you will just be amazed at, by that little increase in activity, how the results grow exponentially. So the word of the day is exponential. <laughs> You'll hear me say that quite a bit. All right, I have a formula for success. So if you've been wondering, okay, Michelle, tell me what I need to do to be successful in this business. I hear, I hear it's taking off like crazy in the U.S., and people are making full-time income and paying for houses and cars and all sorts of fun stuff, making extra money for their family. What can I do to be successful? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Three, four things, okay? Book, sell, sponsor. You're going to book parties, you're going to sell those parties, and you're going to sponsor presenters, and then you just repeat that every month. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Teach your team to do the same thing and repeat it every month. So we're just focusing on that and repeating it. Um, hit Fast Start. So we're going to talk about what Fast Start is, but basically it's 2,000 royalty points and three presenters. That You want that to be your goal. There is not a single black status presenter that did not hit Fast Start. All of us hit Fast Start. That was our first, very first goal. We knew we were going to do it. And then work towards your next promotion. So white status. Hey, you work toward yellow. Once you hit yellow, you set your eyes on pink. Once you hit pink, you work toward blue. And you just keep working those promotions. And the way that the compensation plan is set up, your business will grow. Just work toward that next promotion. Focus on those actions, and you'll, you'll grow. You'll grow, and you'll increase in income and promote, and it's going to be rocking. Okay, and then my last little step here is to have five sets of lashes on you all the time. Now, in the U.K., we do have a couple of extra little technicalities. You're not allowed to um, sell technically cash and carry. So what that means is you can have things on the go for family and friends, neighbors, things like that. Um, but you can't be actively, you know, reselling products. And then share the business. That is the other part of being successful. You have to be sharing this business because it's amazing. And um, tonight I'm actually, well, tonight for you guys, so like 2 in the morning, I'm actually going to be doing a call for the rest of our team, and I'll be recording it for you guys to listen to. But it's all about building your belief and, and getting that fire and passion behind your business. So be excited for this business. Share it. And um, it'll be more fun to have people to do it with. And you will bless the lives of so many others by sharing this business with them and allowing them to also earn money from home. Okay, so let's talk about your first month. So I want you to pick a goal. And the two goals I would really highly suggest to help you be successful is yellow status and fast start. Yellow status as a minimum. I actually think there will be most of you will hit yellow. Hopefully all of you will hit yellow. Most of you hit yellow. A lot of you will hit yellow and pink and will double promote next month, which will be amazing. Several of you are going to hit yellow, pink, and blue next month, which will be even more amazing. There's a handful of you, hopefully it's a lot, but there's a handful that are going to hit green next month. They're going to inspire their teams, and they're going to hit that 10,000 in amount and volume, and they're going to hit green. And then I see a few people that may even hit orange, purple, or beyond next month. So it's really, really exciting. But let's spell it down. I want you to focus on yellow and fast start. Fast start is the key to being successful with this company. If you focus on fast start and you help your new presenters focus on fast start, everyone's focusing on fast start, all the other things will fall into place. So every time you get a new presenter, fast start, fast start, fast start. So what I want you to do is, I should have figured this out, but everyone's fast start date in the UK starts on the same day. So this is going to be really easy. It's going to start November 1st. Um, anyone that sponsors it after or joins after November 1st, you know, it will start on the day that they join the company. So it's 90 days from your first date. So you've got all of November, all of December, and pretty much all of January. I think January 30th it would end. 90 days, okay? Your goal is to sell 2,000 worth of product, sponsor three presenters in 90 days, and you'll receive $250 in free product that you can put toward, you know, mascara, sell it, pocket it. Other products to supplement your kit, to it to you. So let's break that down into actions. These are seven actions I really highly suggest that you do starting right away. Don't wait until next week. Start right now if you haven't already started this. So launch your own Lash Bash, okay? That's our online party. So maybe instead of calling it a party, call it a Lash Bash. makes it sound more fun. <laughs> um, not so much hard work. Launch your own Lash Bash. bash. So I'm going to go over some steps for that. Um, I would start it today if you haven't already. Start the Facebook part of it today, and then you'll start the actual party on your website on the first. So, or, you know, maybe a few hours before the first. Okay? 
write down your list of who you know, okay? Your who you know list, your list of 100, whatever you want to call it. Write down everyone you know, neighbors, friends, family, and um, go through your Facebook, A through B, and just write down everybody and start contacting people. There was a gal on another, a lady on another team that she um, had this, they had a challenge. How many people can you sponsor in 24 hours? So she just called and called and talked and talked all day. That was her focus. She sponsored 24 or 26 people, maybe 23. Anyways, a lot. <laughs> um, just because she contacted them and let them know about this opportunity and invited them to be part of it. Third step, book five to six flash bashes for the first week of November. This is huge. So if you go into November with just your own party, just one party, you are setting yourself up for failure. I'm going to just be totally honest. Because what if your party doesn't go as hard as you think it will? Then you're in a week or a week and a half into your business, and you have nothing else on your calendar. If your calendar is empty, your business is empty. So you want to book five to six flash bashes that other people are going to host for you right now if you don't already have those in place. And you can start them, you know, start them a couple days earlier before Saturday. Start them on Thursday night or Friday morning. Get people invited to the party and then add the link on November 1st as soon as we can start selling there, okay? Five to six flash bashes. Get trained on how to do a flash bash. We have lots of videos and helpful tips. And then book parties from those parties. That is key. That makes the business easy. Fourth step, order five sets of lashes to keep on you. So you'll have to do this on November 1st, of course, because you can't order yet. And like I mentioned, you can't, you know, you have to be careful with tax and carry and things like that. But you'll run into friends and family, and they'll say, oh, I heard you sell this, da, da, da. Or you'll be showing them your crazy awesome lashes. And you'll say, oh, my gosh, I got some back in my house. Or I've got one in my purse. Do you want to take it? So keep them on you all, all, all the time. Um, if you're not able to order five right now, do bulk orders. And that's totally fine. You can say, hey, you already collect orders from you and you and you and you. And then go ahead and purchase it and then deliver it. So, And then fill your calendar. Online activities are awesome. But open houses, one-on-one. -on -one. Set up no makeup appointments. Hey, let's set up a one-on-one. -on -one. I'll come over with my pet. You can play with everything. Bring your friend over. I did several of those when I first started. They work amazing. People love to try the products in hand, and they buy more when they try it. So yay for that. Um, get talking. When you're out and about, you know, you want to be talking to people. Open your mouth and talk about your business. Keep five sets of cards on you every day, but five cards in your purse and... Don't stop talking to people until those five cards are gone. Um, and I would actually suggest to get their information on the people you're talking to if you're, if ab if you're able to um, so you can follow up with them. Because usually if you hand out a card, you'll never see it again. But if you get their information, you can follow up with them. That's a lot more successful. Find those with networks. You know, start brainstorming. Who do I know that knows a lot of people? Go on Facebook and see how many friends your friends have. If they have a big friend list, that's a green flag for someone that could be an amazing hostess. Um, start thinking about, you know, beauty, the beauty industry. What kind of people can use our products? Damp, cheer, pageants. Um, there's a whole range of different areas that you can network into and just start talking to people. Start networking with other direct sales companies and leaders. Do party swaps. Say, hey, you know, I know you do use plus. Um, I just are unique. I'd love to do a party swap. I love, you know, those products. You would love my products. Your friends would love it. You know a lot of people. Let's do a party swap. We'll help each other out. Um, and then go through the new presenter training this week. So on our website, The Last Divas, get your password um, from here, from your upline, and go where it says new presenters start here. And you can click there, and there's all sorts of great information for getting started. Um, and we're going through this kind of fast. Okay, successful online last passes. I want to give you some tips because I want your parties to be a success, Okay. Right from the start. So there's a, there are several videos on our training site. There are scripts that you can go through on our training site that I have gotten from people that do very successful parties. So don't feel like you have to know all of this before you book your parties or start your parties. You can totally learn as you go. But once you get those five to six parties booked, you know, take a half hour and just read through some tips to get you on, you know, to get your parties off to a great start. Okay? Um, I'm going to give you a reality tech though with the party. Okay? You are going to have parties that don't do well. I'm telling you that now so you don't get frustrated. 
it's going to happen. It happens to everybody. Home parties, online parties, you'll have a hostess that doesn't participate or she doesn't invite friends, and the party doesn't have a lot of cells or maybe no cells. Don't let that get you frustrated. It happens to everyone. The key is to have more parties so that your average, you know, your good parties and your bad parties average out to a great average, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to create your party link and wait until November 1st because you want to set your party up for 10 days and you want to have those full 10 days, okay? Create your group on Facebook. Um, you can create a group or an event. It's kind of a personal preference. I have preferred groups. They're a little bit harder to add people to. Events are easier. Anyway, there's there's benefits and minuses to both So or drawbacks. So I would suggest try both. Do one party as a group. Do another one as an event. See what you like better. People have had success with both. Call it something fun and creative. Charity is having an online house fair party because it's that good. Or Susan's crazy last bash. Um, I wouldn't call it a unique virtual party. Virtual sometimes seems to confuse people. They don't know what that means. So call it a lash bash. Um, if you don't, you know, don't call it a party. Um, add friends. Add a lot of people to your party, okay? You never know who's going to be interested. Add all of your female friends. But then what you want to do is go back after you added them to the group or invited them to the event and send them a personal message, not a group message. I can't tell you how annoying group messages are. I kind of despise them. <laughs> because you're in this, they obviously don't really care about you. It's how I feel when someone sends me a big, long group message, especially for something that they're selling. I feel like, like I just got spammed with this big group message. Send a personal message, something fun, add a photo, add a link to the party, let her know it's going to be fun and she's going to love it, and send it to her. Or if you have time, um, and you only have to do this once, you know, get a video, and you can send a video to your friends. Hey, check this out. I've got this thing going on. Post a welcome message on the group. So if it's you or the hostess that's doing the party, you know, have the hostess post a welcome. Whoever, whoever is inviting the friends. So if it's your launch, you're going to do the welcome message. But if it's the hostess of the party, ask her to do a welcome message and send her what you want her to write on there. Hey, welcome to my online lash bash. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Because it's her friends. They're going to know her. They don't know you. So they're going to take her credibility over yours. Um, the other thing you can do is, again, do a video and post that on your um, your party. Hey, I'm so excited for you guys to join the party. Here's how it's going to work. And just kind of do a little review of how it works because online parties are a new thing and some people don't quite understand. They're going to go on there and they're going to look for, okay, where's the date and the address? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So you need to have a little bit of explanation letting them know hey, it's 100% aligned, and how to purchase. So here's an example. Welcome to Kelly's 3D Mascara Lash Bash Online Party. This, Or you could just say Lash Bash. This Lash Bash is 100% aligned, so shop from the comfort of your own couch. Unique is a natural-based cosmetics company. You're going to tell about the company. Home to the number one selling 3D fiber lashes. These are not thick lashes. I always have to explain that. 3D fiber lashes are made from green tea fibers and go on just like mascara. And then answer some questions. You're, you already are going to get questions about contacts and is it safe and waterproof. So you can answer that right away. Safer contacts, um, water resistant, yet removes with face wash and water, cost $20, last two months. So I just answered some of the most common questions I'm going to get in the party right away. These are Lisa lashes. So if it's your party, put, these are my lashes. The top lashes are bare, middle lashes are wearing this uh, $24 department store mascara, and the bottom lashes have one coat of unique 3D fiber lashes. So they're going to compare nothing, regular mascara, and then our 3D fiber lashes. Most um, pictures you want to use on your group, try to find pictures or take your own pictures where it's you with one, you know, coat of regular mascara, and then you with a coat of the 3D fiber lashes. If you have pictures where it's 3D fiber lashes versus nothing, people are going to think, well, of course, that looks better than nothing. My mascara looks better than nothing. So you want to have a comparison to what they are used to, what they're used to using and currently using, okay? Post a picture of you wearing the lashes. This is super, super important. If you have a hostess hosting, she needs to post a picture of her wearing the lashes. You can have a party with someone that has not tried the product, but I would encourage your hostesses to purchase the product and try the product. Their parties will be more successful if they have experience to talk about the product. And then you want to be involved. Post three times a day for the length of the party. So morning, lunchtime, and then in, in the evening. That's, these are so easy, you guys. <laughs> I 
I can't believe we get paid to do this. It's awesome. Um, post three times a day. Now, if you have several parties going on, I'm going to give you a suggestion. Start your parties all on the same day, okay? So choose a day of the week that works well for you. Thursday night, perfect. I'm going to, even if someone calls me on Monday and they say, I want to host a party, I'm going to say, perfect. I'm going to set up your party this Thursday night, and we'll run it Friday through Friday, okay? Start all your parties on the same day. Trust me, it's going to really, really help you stay sane, especially if you have, especially if you're going all out and you have 10 to 15 parties because you want to have, you know, amazing income from Unique, okay? Um, then you post the same thing on each party. So on Friday, you post the same post on every single party. So then it only takes a few minutes to really post, okay? Trust me, that's going to really help you out. Um, comment under their comments. Share tips, ingredients, inspirations, funny things. We have a whole image library um, and that I'm hoping going to be adding to just to give you guys lots of different images that you can use on your parties and Facebook posts and things like that, okay? Um, share stories. So instead of just saying things like the makeup is water resistant, we have some great pictures of girls that took pictures after they jumped in the lake, okay? Show a picture and say, here's my friend Crystal or here's another customer who took a picture of her amazing lashes after she jumped in a lake. I even have a picture of a girl on our team who had a baby, a water birth, and took a picture of her makeup before and then 24 hours after, and she looks amazing. <laughs> so things like that are really going to help your customers relate instead of just saying a fact. Um, another really quick story I wanted to share, there was a customer or a presenter that was um, – She's having a rough day, okay? She's got little kids. She's having a rough day and just kind of had a meltdown and went out in front of her house and was just crying. I'm not sure what her kids did, but it was a really hard day, right? Came back inside the house, looked in the mirror, and thought to herself, oh, my gosh, my mascara still looks awesome. <laughs> and she's a presenter. So she took a picture, and she went online on Facebook, and she posted the story. Oh, um, I was crying, and I can't believe that my makeup still looks amazing. She got like three orders in 20 minutes. And somebody messaged her and she said, oh my gosh, I cry all the time. I need what you have. They related to her story. She could have written on there, my mascara is water resistant. Would people have related as much? No. People relate to stories. So anytime you can share a photo or a video or a story, people are going to relate to that. They're going to believe it. They're going to they're gonna want what you have, okay? All right, pictures. Oh, we went up a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying something new with this. Okay, um, party. Apparently, my mouth is really sensitive. Party points. So number eight, party points. Rewarding and um, reward actions that happen on your party. This is totally optional, but I think it's a really great idea if you're able to do it. And it doesn't have to be unique products. It can be anything. It can be a little makeup bag. It can be a mirror. Whatever you want to give away. So it's something fun. Um, but it makes the party interactive and it makes it fun. And I, so what I do at the beginning of the party, I have a picture that says earn party points. And it has, you know, for every comment, you earn 10 points. Uh, ask a question, you earn 15 points. Share a link on your, you know, Facebook page or something like that. Like my business page, so many points. And then every day we'll play a game. So I'll have a game where it's something like, you know, first person to guess this movie and it'll have clues with the makeup for a movie gets 15 points. Or, you know, go back to my website and pick which lip gloss color you like the best and post it here for 15 points. So I'm trying to make it interactive. I'm trying to get them to go to my website and see the product. And this has dual purposes. Number one, it's going to make the party more fun. It's going to make people more interactive, which people will like. So that really, really helps. Number two, as their friends comment on a post, more people will see that post. So it's strategic. I want people to comment because it helps more people to see that comment because the way that Facebook tags and notifies you is when your friends post. So that's huge. Um, create urgency in your party. Make sure that people know. Oh, my gosh. Why is this going up? <laughs> okay. Make sure. I'm sorry. I don't know why this is so sensitive. Make sure people know there's a limited time to order. Let them know when the day ends and do a countdown in a week. Hey, we got five more days to order. Hey, we got three more days to order. On the last day, change the name of the party. Hey, it's the last day, charity slash dash. Um, and then focus on the lashes for the first half of the party. Make it simple. Don't 
People get overwhelmed if they have too many choices. Hey, our mascara is our top selling product. Focus on the mascara for the first half of the party, and then the second half of the party, start bringing in the other product and talking about the benefits of the other product, okay? Um, okay, a couple of tips when you have someone else hosting for you. So I mentioned, you know, call it a lash bash. When you're calling people to ask them to host, don't say party. Say lash link. Hey, I can set up a lash link for you, and you can share this with your friends and get free products. Uh, hey, send us, you know, um, your friends are going to love it. It's super easy. We just set up a referral link for you. Okay. Um, we have a really easy, nice little site called thanksforbooking.weebly.com. You can send this to your hostess. It's kind of like a hostess portal. It'll tell her basically how a party works and what she gets from it, what rewards. It'll have some questions and answers she can help with, with her friends and some images that she can use as well. Um, and then hostess coach. You know, let your hostess know, hey, I created a group. By the way, I always create the group and I always create the party. I don't leave that up to my hostess. Um, if you want it done right, you need to do it yourself. <laughs> don't let your hostess, because it may not get done. Um, I create the group, make it easy for her, and all she has to do is add her friends. The most successful parties have at least 200 to 400 people. She needs to know that. And the hostesses are active. It doesn't take much. Just commenting here and there and tagging some friends that you think would love the mascara. And then maybe message or give her a call. Make sure she knows her role and have her pick, you know, the products that she wants to get for free. Um, on our training site, we have some test parties that you can check out. Um, I can also add you to a party. So you can message me or message your upline. And um, we have a test party that has some samples of posts and things like that. And there are other kinds of online parties. So you can do a live event where it's 30 minutes and you're all online together. You can do a three-day lash bash. It doesn't have to be 10 days. If you have a friend that, you know, is going out of town or during the summer when people are busy or even maybe during Christmas, do a shortened and just do three days and let people know, hey, you just got three days to check out these products. Um, a last link, send your friends the link and they can post it on Facebook. They don't even have to set up an actual group. Um, I think you get more rewards in a group than higher sales, but people that may not host in a group may be willing to do a link. So it's kind of for that. Um, you can even do an email. So I have a sample email that you can send out to friends or have a hostess send out to friends and get orders that way as well. So get creative. Um, some other things you can do, and some I have specific questions about events. And I put home parties in there because you can kind of work them the same. So events are awesome. However, right now in the UK, you can't do cash and carry. You can't, we have a not for resale clause. So what that means is at your event, you cannot have products that people can take home with them and pay for right there. You can have a display. So I would definitely, you know, have all of your products out and, you know, supplement your kit if you're able to with additional products, but you can't have cash and carry products right there. So here's what you'll need to do. If someone wants to place an order, you actually have a few choices, okay? They can order right off the website. So if you have Wi-Fi, you can get right on your website, open up your party, place the order right there, and they'll pay the shipping. It will go right to them. That's easy, okay? may take a little bit of time because you're, you know, especially if you're busy talking with people, so just be aware of that. I would actually suggest also having order forms, okay, and an ability to take credit cards. So if I was busy or, let's say, I didn't have Internet, because that may not always be reliable, what I would do is have order forms printed out with a section to take their credit card information right there. Have them fill out the order form with their address, email, um, maybe write down their Facebook account so you can connect with them on Facebook. Use your credit card reader with your phone or your iPad and take their credit card that way, or you can write down their credit card on the order form. And then when you get home from the event, then you'll place those orders within a party, okay? Um, bulk orders are also something you can advertise. Just be aware, it may be a little bit of a pain to deliver them, but if people live locally, um, that is an option. So if you do an event, you can say, hey, anyone that orders with me here, I'll, we'll fill your free shipping. What I'll do is I'll order it and I'll deliver it to you. Okay? Just keep in mind that it may take a little bit of time, or you can add on a little bit of a delivery fee. So let's say, you know, normally it'd be six pounds, six almost seven pounds for um, to order a set of mascara for the shipping. Well, you can charge, you know, one pound for delivery, but just make sure the order is enough to get free shipping. So that's kind of up to you. And always, always, always place orders within a party on your site. So one of the very first things you're going to do on November 1st is you're going to start a party under your name as the hostess. 
any orders that you can get to put in there, that's where you want to place those orders so you can get Hostess Rewards. Okay? Um, really quick note about Hostess Rewards. As soon as the party ends, so if it's a 10-day party, when that party ends on the 10th day, the very next day those Hostess Rewards will go into that account. Now, it's based on U.S. time, so it's U.S. Pacific time, which is an eight-hour difference. We'll see. Now my time's off. Well, next weekend we change. So an eight-hour difference. Um, we change on November 1st, November 2nd. Anyways, I'll figure out what the time is for this weekend um, so you guys have that. But anyways, in the future, um, it'll be about 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning is when that switch will go over and the host of rewards will go in the account. And then you just go on to your website, shop, go to the cart, and you apply those hostess credits right there in the cart. It'll have an option. You know, you have this much white cash, you have this many half price items. So it's really straightforward once you start and you get to the cart. Okay, let's switch gears just a little bit um, and talk about teams and growing a team. I love these two quotes. So teamwork makes the dream work, and the secret to growing is helping others grow. Both of these are really, really true. And if you haven't done direct sales before, you're not really sure what, you know, building a team or sponsoring or having other presenters join you is really all about, um, think of this business like a franchise. So you have restaurants that are franchises. Let's say we have one in the U.S. called um, In-N-Out, this hamburger joint, and they sell lots of great hamburgers. Well, someone can do a franchise and have their own restaurant just like that. And the company gets a cut of that, even though they're not running it. They get a cut of it, okay? So it's unique. You're your own franchise. So everyone that you bring in, if you help them and they sell and make it going, you can get a cut of what they're earning. It's as simple as that. So financially, it's going to benefit you, but it's also just more fun to have a team. It is. It's more fun to have people to work with, bounce ideas off with, do events with, get together with, um, some of my best friends are people that I have met through direct sales and through my team. So even if you just want to have fun and you don't want to make a lot of money, a team is, makes it more fun, okay? And the way to really promote in this company is to help people get what they want, get what they need. So as soon as you hit yellow peak, yes, you still need to sell and sponsor, but you're going to focus on your team. And those that focus on their teams grow faster. Um, so here are some of my tips to help your team get off to a strong start. When you sponsor somebody, even if it's someone that you've known before, you want to call them on the phone, personal phone call within 48 hours. Don't just depend on text or messages. You need to develop a relationship with your presenters and your team. You need to show them that you're there and that you care for them. And, yes, we can answer a lot of questions via Facebook and messages. You know, and I've answered a lot of questions with, you know, those of you in the U.K., but... I also make sure, you know, my first level presenters know, and even those, you know, below, if they need a phone call, if we need to talk, you know, that we can do that. So phone calls are, are huge. If you are local to them, you know, meet in person. But call within 48 hours. That's a really critical time. People often, they'll join a company, and they immediately get this kind of doubt. Oh, oh my gosh, should I have done that? Or... Or someone they know says, oh, why did you do that? That's not a good idea. They need you to reconfirm to them that they made the right decision, that they're in the right place. They need you not just to call and welcome them, but to share with them that they're in a really good place, that they're going to be successful, to give them that confidence they can do it. That's what that new call is for. It's not a training call. You're actually going to set that up another time, okay? But give them some assignments. So when you talk with them, say, okay, so we're, let's get together and do a training or, you know, next week or, you know, in a couple of days that we'll, we'll talk for like a half hour or 40 minutes and go over it. all the little details. But in the meantime, I want you to write down your list of 100, whatever you know, and I want you to watch these two videos on the training site or go through the new presenter information. So give them some assignments to do on their own so that way when you talk, you've already, you know, gotten that, <laughs> that out of the way and then you can help them go through their list. Who are they going to invite to join the business? Who are they going to ask the hostess? Okay, work with them one on one. Um, not everybody is a self starter. Not everybody is going to take this and figure it out on their own. So you may need to really, you know, be, do a little hand holding with your new presenters and really show them how to get off to a good start. 
do team meetings. I love local team meetings. Even if you just have two people on your team, get together. Get together for lunch once a month, okay? As you do it and you're consistent, it will grow. Your team meetings will grow, and that can be a huge part and a huge source of excitement and energy for your team. Um, do team calls. Once you get to a certain size, you know, choose to do team calls. Um, rally your team together. Inspire them. Choose a different person to share a tip each month. And then do coaching calls. Do a weekly call with your new presenters at least when they very first start. Each week, it's just a 15-minute, hey, how's it going? What activities are you doing? It's a coaching call. So you're going to help coach them and give them tips and ideas, but let them do most of the talking. You're going to ask questions to see how they're doing. And then check in monthly with those of, you, of yours that are personally working. Um, also, get your team doing local events together, booths, home parties, opportunity meetings. Work together to strengthen your area and to build locally. And then I wrote this out, 80% and 20%. So this is something you really want to know. In this business, 80% of your team does 20% of the sales. And 20% of your team does 80% of your sales. So most of your income will be made through 20% of your team. So where do you think you should spend your time? It's really tempting to spend your time with the 80% because you really want to help as many as you can, right? But you need to spend the majority of your time with those that are working. And those are not just to say they want to do it, but they are showing you they want to do it. Invest in them, and that will really pay off. Um, Two-thirds of my team is under two people. So this is really, really true. Invest in those that are working and that really want it. All right, this is the last part of our call. So choose your pace. Choose your pace. How fast do you want to grow? It's going to be up to you, okay? I have these three scenarios here at the bottom, and I really think they're pretty, pretty true. If you are just in this for fun, you just like the products, you think it sounds, you know, fun, you can do the full case. It's totally fine. $500 in sales. Or, you know, do more in sales if you want to make some good income but you're not interested in building a team, okay? Will you reach green? Possibly. But it's probably going to take a little while. Um, it may take a year. It may take longer. Adding one presenter a month is a very slow pace. Um, that means by the end of the year you have 12 people, but only about a third of those you sponsor actually end up doing a lot with the business. That's another statistic that's good to know. So out of those 12, that means you only have four that are really working in the business. And those four could have come just that last month. Um, medium pace. Let's say you want to get growing, but, you know, you're not quite ready to do a faster pace. $1,000 in sales each month, every month, and three presenters. That will help you to be green in about four to five months. If you do that and you teach your team to do the same. And then the fast pace. So if you are like me or some other leaders on our team and you want to be in leadership as quickly as possible and you want to be making income as quickly as possible and you see yourself as a black success presenter within a year or two, well, I would say within a year. The cost base is going to get to there pretty fast. Two thousand dollars in sales and add five presenters every month. Okay, teach your team, teach the go getters on your team to do the same thing. You can be green in one to two months. Well, I'm going to say two months. One month you have to do higher PRS. And so I want to show you an example of what I did. You don't have to be like me, but I want to give you realistic numbers because if I told you, hey, you can get green by doing five hundred dollars a month, I would be doing you a big disservice because you'll get so frustrated when you're not there, because this just can't do it. You will not hit green selling just $500 in sponsoring one presenter. Those, if you do, you're really lucky. <laughs> we'll just say that. Here's what I did. And again, I decided I wanted to work really hard for my first three months. I knew it would pay off. And yes, I still worked after that, but I really worked hard my first three months. I hit yellow within my first two weeks in October. I added five presenters in two weeks. In November, I wanted to hit green, and I knew that I would need to have a lot of sales to hit green. So about half my team volume came from me in November. So if you want to hit green in a month, you need to have some really high sales, and that will do it. I added six presenters, and I hit pink, blue, and green in one month. In December, I added eight presenters and sold a little bit over 1,000, and I leaned team green. And then in January, I hit orange, so that means I had a green presenter underneath me, um, and my sales were just a little under 2000 and I added nine presenters. So I focused on 
presenters and um, the opportunity and sharing the opportunity immediately because I knew that's what would help my business to grow. So if you want to grow and you want to add that income, this is a good pattern to follow. Um, I also have a really great chart that Haley Ragsdale, who's another Black Success presenter, put together. It was extremely helpful for me. So if you are motivated and driven and you want to be in leadership and you want to be at the top of this company, message me and I will send you her um, her spreadsheet. She basically tracks month by month. How much did she sell? How much did she sponsor? How big her team got? And for my first six months in business, I try to stay right on pace with her. And it has really, really helped. So um, that is basically the end of our call. If you guys have, and if you have any questions, you can use the message bar here. Um, but we'll go ahead and wrap up. And actually, I'll just answer questions back on our Facebook group. So I hope this is helpful. But make the goal that you want to hit. And I just want you to know that you can do this. If you've never done direct sales before, it doesn't matter. If you work full-time, it doesn't matter. If you don't know a lot of people, it doesn't matter. The main thing you need to know is that you are that you want it, that you are going to make it happen, that you're not going to quit if it gets tough or rough or, or you have people that tell you no. Get focused on what you want to achieve. Choose your pace and go for it. Fill in your calendar with the actions that you need to hit those numbers. And if you need some specific help, hey, I need to earn this much. What can I do? We'll go over specific numbers. I can tell you exactly what you need to do in order to hit those kinds of things. So just let me know how I can help you with that. But take a goal and run with it. We have people making a lot of money, no direct sales experience, working full time. Lots of different, you know, um, backgrounds, occupations, the whole range. So we're we're just excited to have to have all of you ladies there in the UK with Unique and sharing in this excitement and the awesome products that we have to offer and we're just gonna smash it next month. So I can't even wait. I'm so excited for you and have a wonderful evening. I'll get this recording posted and we'll share it with everybody else. Thanks so much for joining me.